morning. We're off to have another magical day at Animal Kingdom. Just a reminder, we parked at Unicorn M. And M for magic, so Unicorn Magic. Easy way to remember. Walking into Animal Kingdom. Feels great out this morning, pretty breezy. Yeah, like a nice coolness to the air. There wasn't a lot of people in the parking lot. We're gonna head over to Pandora and see how long Flight of Passage is. Typically, we start at um, Everest. Everest, but I don't know. Our fingers are kind of crossed for uh, Flight, Flight of Passage back. today. There's the Nomad Lounge. We are definitely gonna try to get some snacks from there today. Walking into Pandora. The park doesn't officially open till 8. It's like 7.31 right now. So we'll see if rides are even open, but if not, they open at 8. Really when we get here, right when it opens, there's a huge line waiting to get into Pandora. But today it's like walking through and you can already see. It's a 10 minute wait. Jessica has something really important to show me. Oh, show us. Oh, we can't see it yet. Can't see it yet. But here is a picture of the water, a video of the waterfall. I'll show you later. I'll have to get it out later. I think it was, it meant 10 minute walk. Yeah, 10 minute walk, not a 10 minute wait, but we'll find out. I think after this you can do this before. What do you think? We're about to head into the scientific room. so far oh yeah definitely and we're almost there that was really quick 13 and 14 13 is my lucky number calling on the back of this powerful animal called equal studying banshees and their environment and then get onto the link chair the way we showed you in the video then put on your flight visors for your safety throughout this entire experience remain seated lean forward holding on to the hand grips and supervise your children Gracias. Well, we're about to get on, so we'll see you after the ride. We walked, were able to walk all the way past this line, and now it's all the way out here. So how was that? That was amazing. It gets better and better every time you ride it. You get here early, and you can get right on right before the park even opens. Yeah, it's 8.05 now, and we are done with the most exciting ride at Animal Kingdom. I think now we're going to head over to the safari. The and check out the animals because apparently the best time to see the animals is in the morning. That could be even more exciting than Flight of Passage. Maybe. Here's a fun wall. Do you want a colossal Mickey cinnamon roll? No, I'm not telling them anything. It's right here. Looks like we'll have a 30 minute wait. Maybe shorter. Who will see? Kemba. We got 
Simba. The line is pretty long. It did say it was about 30 minutes, but it is constantly moving. So that's really nice. But it looks long because of the social distancing. They have yeah. all these markers on the ground. That's why it looks longer than it actually is. Pretty excited to ride it again. I think we're almost there. We learned a very interesting fact. So cheetahs do not roar. They actually chirp to call their cubs. Don't know what that sounds like. I'm gonna have to look it up when we get home because that's interesting. So what do you think? Does this really happen in Disney? It's a bumpy ride. <laughs> really smoky over by the Harambe market, but it smells so good. Maybe you'll have to eat here for lunch today. So we're thinking about splitting this. Uh, Mickey it's a shaped cinnamon roll. Colossal Mickey cinnamon roll. He's reading from the sign right now. It's over at Tamu Tamu, which is right across from the Tusker House restaurant. Never had it before, but it sounds pretty good and anything Mickey shapes automatically good, right? Of There's a cute little area to eat close by Tanu Tanu. We got this Mickey cinnamon roll and a root beer and a water. Excited to try this Mickey cinnamon roll. Looks big, big as my head. Not as big as the Gaston's one, but it does look very yummy. Kind of excited about this. First try of the Mickey cinnamon roll. Mm. Tastes like a good cinnamon roll. This was $7.49 for the cinnamon roll. It's big enough to split. Could probably split it with three or four people. It's that big. Pretty good. I like it. So this was our first Mickey treat of the trip. It's really good. I'd give it a three out of five for flavor. It does just taste like your average, you know, cinnamon roll. But I do give it a five out of five out of price point and splitability. But overall, it's really good. It's a good price point. Definitely recommend it. Apparently Everest is a 15 minute wait, so we're gonna go try to get on Everest now. So it said it was a 15 minute wait, but essentially it was a walk on. So walking right Thanks on the ride.
love her to Everest. We saw the Yeti. <laughs> No dragon, just chilling on that rock. Holding perfectly still for pictures. It's being so good for us. Tigers are frequently encountered in the ruins ahead. Oh no. Maybe they'll think I'm one of them, like since I'm wearing this shirt. You can see a monkey in here. Where do you think these lions are? Um, maybe over here. There's a tiger sleeping right over here. It's really hard to see. Maybe there's a better view over here. So many hidden gems here at Animal Kingdom. Found the tiger, it's coming right up. Like you're not afraid of birds. Another character parade. Another parade is coming down the river. We're checking out the Nomad Lounge at Animal Kingdom because we've never done it before or been to it before and it smells pretty good over here, but probably because Tiffin's is right next door. But it does look like you can get a lot of like food options here yeah, too. Yeah, definitely a lot of options here. You do need to scan that QR code if you want to see what offerings are today, but it looks like there's a lot of options. So I just got a Coke to drink, and then what did you get to drink? I got something, I forget what it's called, but it's The water Kiyama Mama. Yeah, Kiyama Mama, and it's uh, watermelon and Sprite. Yeah. Right. And then we're going to try the churros because we've heard that the churros are incredible. It's really nice out here in the lounge. You can sit outside. Nice and, and then if you stand, yeah, it's really shady because it's pretty hot right now. But if you look out here, there's a river over there. It's really nice. Yeah, I saw a boat go by. There weren't any characters on it right now. Oh, that would be cool if there was one with characters. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll see one pass us by. Yeah, while we're so, here. That we would do. be pretty we'll be sure to get a shot. Caleb got the non-alcoholic Bahama Mama. Oh wait, I forget, Kiyama Mama, I think it's actually yeah, what it's called, Kiyama Mama. And that looks really good. It's watermelon and Sprite. And then I just got a Coke, boring Coke. It's really sweet, but in a good way, because it's watermelon, and watermelon is like, not usually super sweet, so it's good. Cheers to that. So Jessica's already salivating over mm. our Churros. So, I'm just hungry. So this one is vanilla and then this one's a strawberry chili. They both look, I don't know about that strawberry, but I'm gonna try it. Ooh. You're trying it plain first? I'm gonna try it plain, then I'm gonna try it dipped in vanilla. Is that a good churro? <laughs> because I don't like churros really, but this is really good because it's like, it's not tough to eat. We've heard good and things about these. Like they're just better than regular churros. Yep. Oh, she's going in for the dip. Mm. And that just made that it 10 times sauce. better. That's good. 
Now, I don't think you're gonna try the strawberry sauce, are you? Probably not. Well, then I'll I'll try that. Going in for the strawberry sauce. Now try the vanilla. I bet they would be good together too. Both good in their own way. And the strawberry kind of makes it taste like a, a, a pastry almost. Does that make sense? But the other one is really good. It really makes it. Like, it tastes like a custard. Yeah, yeah, I agree. These churros are solid. Great snack. Highly, highly, highly recommend Nomad's Lounge. And do you like your drink? I do. I would get it again. Mickey and Minnie. We got a parade coming around the corner. So, so far, which ones do you like better? Um, the ones at Epcot? Um, Magic Kingdom or Animal Kingdom? I like the ones here because you're kind of like, whoa, what's going on? Yeah, like and they don't, they don't really disrupt anything no, either. You they kind of look use, and then they're gone. You, I mean, you see them as you you're walking around. Out you don't have to move out of the way or stop what you're doing. These are pretty nice. Very nice. So the churros were $9 and my watermelon drink was Six seventy-five. Overall, I'd say it was pretty worth it. The churros were pretty good. Um, my drink was good too, but um, I would recommend it. We're about to go on the scariest ride in all of Walt Disney World. Dinosaur! Ah! No matter how many times I take a picture on this ride, it looks terrible. Scary. I know, it really is. The dinosaur is a spoiler. <laughs> but, Definitely not our dino. Actually, I think that actually might be our dino. So no, that's a carnival. Oh, no, that isn't our dino. Definitely. definitely not our dino. Yeah, this ride's really fun, and we always love riding. But today the line is kind of long. Um, but it's almost like being in a museum in here, so that's really cool. I did actually just watch this movie for the first time the other day, and it was really good. I didn't have any expectations. Did you cry? Maybe. You'll never she, know. She did. I didn't watch it with her, but I bet she did. Probably. I'm not going to say. She did. But anyway, we're about to get on in a few minutes, and I'm excited. This is a great ride at Animal Kingdom. Well, that was terrifying. We had to sit in the front row, we and did. we almost didn't make it. We almost. It's like every time. We almost don't make it, but then we do. I know. And then he tells you that he knew you were going to make it, even though he spent the whole ride telling you, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. Fun, but terrifying. Yes. We're not really hungry, but we really want to try the corn here because everybody says it's amazing. So we were going to try the corn at Epcot. We didn't. And then we're like, I think the Magic Kingdom used to have corn, but... They didn't either. They didn't have any. So we're finally going to try this corn at Animal Kingdom and see if it lives up to its expectations. I think we're gonna get our own because it's definitely. How, I don't know how we split yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know I mean, how I you guess split corn on the cob. We could cut it in half. I don't know. Well, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> you can get the corn at the Harambe Fruit Market, and then he makes the corn right over here. I haven't had corn on the cob in like ten years, so I have no expectations for this. But it always smells really good, so I'm hoping it's amazing. We got our corn on the cob, I got mine plain, and then Caleb got his with like African spices on it. And it smells delicious. There is the one with African spices, here is a plain one. Good? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it now. I love grilled corn on the cob, even though it's been a really long time, but that's my favorite. This is the only way to get Caleb to eat vegetables.
We're at Disney Springs. We're gonna see if we can get into Wine Bar George. Here's the lunch menu. The entree. Mm -hmm. This place is really nice. We get to sit up on the nice little rooftop. Got a nice view. These look good. These smell good. Jessica's trying to dig in. Bon appetit. Bon. They're really hot, but I'm gonna do a taste test. Mm. I like them. You're gonna like them. I'm sure I will. Are they cheesy? Mm-hmm. And then I'll like them. So good. So we are splitting the steak grits. Steak grits here at um, Wine Bar North. Yep. The fries are good so far, and the steak looks amazing. I got it well done. The meat looks perfect. Perfectly charred. Yep. Just goes right. Perfectly charred. So good. So far, so good over here. Amazing. Very good to hear. So what did you think of Wine Bar Drawer? I thought it was very good, and I, I would come back.